Are you a growing organization looking to deliver world-class customer service that keeps your customers coming back for more? Don't worry, HubSpot's Service Hub Starter totally has you covered. To get started, click the link in the description below and sign up for our free tools. Then you can upgrade to Service Hub Starter when you're ready. To get started creating a ticket for a customer, simply click Create Ticket, give it a name, Select which pipeline it will go into because with Service Hub, you can have multiple service pipelines. Select which status the ticket is. Give it a quick description. And what is the source of this ticket? We're going to say that Jerry chatted us on one of our website forms. Make sure you assign it a ticket owner and assign a priority. Next, select the create date and you can even associate a ticket with a contact and a company. When you're ready, click create. This will bring you to a page where you can see all the details about this ticket. We'll see again, a little bit of information about this ticket. And on the right hand side, any associations such as contacts, companies, any deals that this customer might have ongoing with our company, etc. Here you can see the ticket's been created and added to the new stage of our pipeline. But as we start dealing with the customer, we can simply drag and drop it from stage to stage to track the progress of this ticket. You can even filter the pipeline by ticket owner, create date, last activity date, priority, and a bunch of other advanced filters. As your customer service team starts solving the customer's challenges, they can view all the activity that occurred with this ticket, leave a note on the file, email the customer directly, have a phone call or log a phone call, assign tasks, or even log a meeting. As your customer service team service customers, conversations are natural. Let me show you how Service Hub allows you to have quick, simple, and effective conversations directly with your customers. Scroll up top to Conversations and select Inbox. Now, the Inbox is a shared inbox among your customer service team. Anybody can see any conversations that are in here, or you could filter who gets to see the conversations. Here, we can see that there's a conversation going with one of our customers. He had reached out saying a colleague of his had recommended they set up time to talk. We sent an automated message because it was after work hours, and now we have the opportunity to actually chat directly with with the customer right here in our chat platform. Check out how AI can help make the customer service experience even better for your customers. Now, you can see this message is kind of quick and to the point, but I'm gonna use HubSpot AI to change it up a little bit. I'll start by selecting the text and then selecting my AI assistant to the bottom to expand this message to be a little bit more thorough. Here we can see we've got a great message going to the user right here, and I can go ahead and click send. Now when they're ready to reply, they can either click on my meeting link directly or reply to us in chat. There may be times when you're servicing a customer that you need expertise from another team member, or you might need to pass a ticket on to another team member altogether. That's where the comment feature comes in very handy. Simply click comment. Here, we can do a few things. One, we can actually tag a team member in real time, or we can actually do something even more special. With AI Assistant, we can click the summarize button. This will use AI technology to summarize the history of this conversation. So in the event we need to bring in another team member or move a customer to another team member, they can quickly read the summary and gets brought up to speed immediately. This provides great customer service to our customers by shortening the amount of time to value. When it comes to great customer service, talking with your customers is essential. Let me show you how Service Hub Starter makes it easy for you to chat with your customers directly through your website. To get started, we're going to build a live chat feature on our website. We'll scroll on over to our toolbar and select Automations and Chat Flows. Here we'll select Create Chat Flow. And here we decide where we want this chat flow to live. We'll choose our website. Now you can see on the left that we've got a few options to choose from, Live Chat and Bots. For now, we're going to start with Live Chat. We can always edit this and customize it later, so let's go ahead and click Next. First, we'll give it a little bit more information as to where we want these chats to live, and we'll select our shared inbox and select the language. Then we'll click Create. Here we have the opportunity to start to customize and give a name to our chatbot. Now we can start building our chat flow. To get started building our chat flow, let's start with a welcome message. Here we can customize a hello message to let them know that we are here to answer any questions that they have. Next, you can enable which knowledge base articles you want website visitors to access. Just toggle on the enable knowledge base search and you can select which knowledge base you want to pull articles from. You can even automatically assign conversations to different members of your service team and capture the visitor's emails when they're in the chat flow. Next, select the Target tab. Here we can choose which pages the chat widget should appear on and who should see the chat widget. 
Here you can see that it's currently set to all of our website pages, and we can select different filters, such as if this is a visitor, a logged in visitor, a certain device type, or any other certain criteria that we do or do not want to show our chatbot to. Next, click display. Here you can start to see what will be displayed on the chatbot. We can choose an avatar with a custom image or use custom branding or the contact owner. We can even change the chat display behavior. And finally, we'll select options and select a language, any data privacy and consent that we want to collect, and we can select them as marketing contacts. This will make sure if a visitor is chatting with you, they will automatically be created as a marketing contact in your CRM. We also know that world-class customer service means listening to your customers. So you can create a survey that will automatically go out to folks that chat with your chatbot. I'll go ahead and click Save. I can even preview the chatbot right here to see what it's going to look like. To improve the efficiency of your live conversations and scale your one-on-one -on -one communication, you can use conversational chatbots. They can do things like automatically create tickets for visitors or serve them up a knowledge base article to allow them to self-serve. Let me show you how it works. To get started again, click Automations, Chat Flows, and select Create Chat Flow. We'll put this one on our website, and here we can go ahead and select Tickets Bot. This bot will collect information from customers and open support tickets for your team to respond later. Go ahead and collect Tickets Bots, select Next, select which inbox you'd like this conversation to go to and language, and click Create. Here you can see that this automatic chatbot is going to go through a series of activities to create a ticket for the customer. So they'll receive a welcome message, they'll ask what they can help you with today, and finally they'll let them know that a member of the team would love to help them out, what's the best email for the website visitor, and then the ticket is automatically created, put into the right ticket pipeline, and the ticket will be submitted for your customer. All of this is done automatically once you set up this automated chat flow. We should note that with Service Hub Starter, you are limited to ticket creation, lead qualification, and meeting scheduling bots but those are powerful automations for your website. Enabling your service team to set up and automate tasks is a great way to create efficiencies and make your customers happy. To get started with tasks, scroll on over to CRM and scroll down to tasks. Here you can create a task, give it a name, make sure that it is a type of to-do, assign it a priority, you can associate it with a record, assign it to a team member, assign it to a queue, and even allow it to repeat. Then go ahead and create that task, and that task will repeat day after day so that your service team knows every morning when they check in, they should check their inbox for VIP tickets. Now tasks can even live in queues. You can have multiple queues with Service Hub Starter. To get started with queues, select Manage Queues. Here we can see we have a priority service queue, but we can add a new queue if we'd like. Simply give it a name, and go ahead and click Save. Now, you can start to segment your tasks into which queue they should be added into. And that's Service Hub, the simple, easy to use tools to keep your customers delighted and coming back for more. HubSpot is built to grow with you. That's why we're the leading choice among small business, mid-market, and enterprise customers. As a note, HubSpot works to make updates to our customer platform every single day. We're even updating our navigation bar and beta testing with users as we speak. So if something looks a little different in this video, it's totally fine. We're just making updates to make the platform best for you. To get started, click the link in the description below and sign up for our free tools. Then you can upgrade to Service Up Starter when you're ready.